Hey everybody, how's it going? Thanks for joining me, I'm Mike. And today I've got something a little special for me anyway. But before I get to it, I wanna show you a new sticker I got. I think uh, the way you say it is Bartos and Timon at Timbar Wood. They have a uh, Instagram channel. I'll put that link in the description, but go check them out. They do some, some really impressive stuff they do all kinds of different things but um it's good work so go check them out and tell them hi today's project is a little special to me because it's from a blank sent to me from a, a good friend that i almost got to meet <laughs> but uh gunny gunny bim sent this to me it is some spalted sycamore and it's pretty just look at that i can't wait to get inside this and see what it looks like in there I kind of, I've had it for a little while. I actually, he sent it to me before my surgery. So sorry it's taking so long, but I've been looking at it, trying to figure out how I want to turn it, what I want to do with it. I don't want to make this the bottom and potentially lose all of this spalting. And then I wouldn't be able to get so deep in there, but I didn't know if making this a top would, uh, I don't know how that turned out because the wall is pretty, pretty short here. I thought, well, what would somebody want to buy? Would they want to buy it like that? Or should I cast some resin in it? But I know a lot of people are like dead set against resin and wood. It's kind of sacrilegious. And I agree sometimes. Sometimes it can help. Gunny, I don't know how you feel about it. But I didn't want to add any colors to it because it's pretty anyway. And I thought, well, I could cast it in clear so you could still see the wood. But then that would make it look kind of plasticky. And then I thought, I'm not selling this one anyway. This one, Gunny, if you want this one, I'm going to send it back to you. If not, it's not leaving my family. So I don't care what anybody would buy. I'm going to do it like I want to do it. And there's no resin. So stick with me and see if I can do it justice. I hope I don't mess it up. I've got mounted on my woodworm screw. And I'm going to flatten off the bottom here. So I can put a glue block on there because I don't want to take off more than I need to. Um, yep, I'm going to do that. I get about 600 RPM right now. Probably do more, but that's all I'm going to do for now.
pretty. I'm liking this. been back and forth on how I want to finish this I think I want to coat it with shellac I've sanded it to 320 on the inside and the outside and I think that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna let that dry, then put on a few more coats, and then I will bring you back. All right, this is after three coats of shellac. I didn't want it to be too shiny; I wanted it to be kind of satiny. So I stopped there just enough to seal it up and give it some the rich color. I'm gonna use the Scotch Brite to get the little nubs off. Do some acts. I think that's all I'm gonna do. I don't like I said I don't want it shiny, so I'm not gonna do the axe polishing paste. I'm just gonna leave it like this because I like it. It's got a uh, an old look to it. So I'm gonna soak this hot glue in some um, denatured alcohol, and we'll finish the bottom. All right, well here it is. It is about eight inches wide. Uh, two and three quarter inches tall and it's about two inches deep but man this is pretty the spalting in this just the more I look at it the more I see like right in here that I don't know what you call that but that little squared pattern it's on that side too and then on the on the back on the bottom it's got it there and then just, I don't know, the more I look at it, the more I see how it kind of splits off right there. It's just, I really like this one. Um, I think I made the right choice just leaving it the way it was with no resin. It turned really nice. Um, never turned sycamore before, but I really like it. And I have another one 
that Gunny sent me. So I can't wait to get into that one. But, yep, here it is. It's pretty lightweight too. It's not like flimsy feeling, but it's not heavy either. So, but that's that one. Thank you, Gunny, for sending that. Like I said, if you want it, um, I'll send it to you. If not, it's staying in the family. So on that, thank you guys for joining me. I appreciate it. If you're a subscriber, thank you very much. If you're not, well, thanks for stopping by anyway. So uh, you guys have a blessed day. I enjoy the warmer weather if, if it's getting there where you're at. And um, yeah, take care and stay safe. And hopefully you'll see me in the next one. Take care.